Hey, what's up, peeps? Jeremiah here. Very grateful believer in Jesus Christ. Um, so, um, you know, we've been going through the armor of God one piece at a time, as Johnny Cash would say. Um, and it didn't cost me a dime. So um, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures leading up to it to remind us as we continue to put on our armor. So the armor of God, finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces and this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. So stand firm, therefore, it says, having girded your loins with the truth. We talked about that. And having put on the breastplate of righteousness. We talked about that. And today we're talking about, and in verse 15, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So remember, we're putting on armor. Um, literally doing it. I've simulated doing it. Just kind of get my head right, um, get my head um, tight and right before I walk out the door um, for the day and um, just literally simulate putting it on. I would just speak it out loud and put it on and pray for guidance. So um, shaw just simply means to put on one's feet or under one's feet. Um, so to actually put on the gospel of peace. Um, something I want you to think about is what shoes do for us, So you know, um, is it helps it aid our movement, right? So it it helps us be able to move better um, without the pain of walking on surfaces and things like that. So um, to aid our movement better um, in our walk with Christ is to put on the good news boots, um, as my wife and daughter call it. But um, yeah, the, the preparation of the gospel of peace, sh shotting, putting them on is all that means. So um, to bind in, in or under your feet, just remember that. So you actually have to put some application there. Um Something that I thought was pretty cool I wrote down is that um, you never know uh, who or when God wants you to minister to. So you got to be ready um, at all times um, to give a some kind of word, maybe a message or an encouragement. Um, just be there um, for somebody. So the availability is the key to be available to share the good news, the gospel of peace. Um, so once you put that on and you make the gospel of peace your purpose and your focus for the day, then that's what you can do is bring that um, about to others. So as you... Um, literally don or put on those shoes and, and this equipment um, piece by piece. Um, think about the significance of what they mean and what, what it is to actually um, wear it. And when we come to the complete um, ending of putting on the, the body, the armor of God, um, just remember that you got to be ready to share. Um, God wants to use us and he'll use us anytime, any place, um, as long as we're av available. So be available, but um, put on your armor. Um, like I said, one piece at a time. Help help the word, the gospel, aid your movement um, in the purpose and the direction that God wants to take you. So put on the good news boots and get out there and get after it. Um, knuckle up. Love you guys.